Introducing Sensory Percussion 2.2. This update to Sensory Percussion 2 includes a mix of new features, workflow improvements, and some under the hood tweaks, all of which make the software more responsive and easier to use. Perhaps the biggest new feature of Sensory Percussion 2.2 is the introduction of the Sensory Percussion 2 plugin. This is a VST3 plugin you can open inside of your DAW and it makes recording and editing sensory percussion a breeze. This update includes a bunch of improvements to the hit detection algorithm, which is the underlying special sauce that allows us to accurately detect and analyze your playing across different zones of the drum. This means that buzz rolls and ghost notes will feel better, and you can more fully utilize the entire dynamic range of your drums. Along with these internal changes, we've added two new parameters to the training page, head rim balance and input gain, which allow you to dial in your training to your specific playing even further. The new multiband EQ effect has up to eight filter bands, which are all fully customizable and can be controlled via assignment, which means you can do some fun stuff like controlling the resonance of a filter band with the speed of your playing. or with an LFO. Modulators are objects that can be dragged and dropped onto parameters to, you guessed it, modulate them, like this LFO to note control. But the new functionality that we've added in 2.2 is the ability to modulate your modulation. So for example, I can take this velocity modulator and drop it onto the rate of that LFO for some really fun sound design. App scaling is a handy new feature that allows you to zoom in and out on your set. So if you're working on a small 12 inch screen, you can zoom out and see more layers or vice versa. If you're on a large 4k display, you can zoom in and get a better idea of what's going on. You can now select multiple modules and use the shortcut command G to group them inside of another controller module of your choice. You can also use ungroup to remove a module from a layer without affecting any of the modules above or below it. Collapsed layers have become much more useful in 2.2. As opposed to just seeing the title, you can now mute and unmute, adjust the volume, or add input filters to a collapsed layer. And you might also have noticed this add module button. With this button, you can start building sounds inside of your layer without ever opening up the library. Just choose the modules that you'd like to add right from this menu. There's a new option in the file menu called Collect All and Save Session. This saves your session and also puts any samples and images you're using from outside of the Sunhouse library into automatically generated folders alongside your session. This is useful for sending your session to someone else so that they can open it up and have the samples and images linked automatically. <laughs> 